Hi grade twos, today I'm going to read to you from Love Does and this chapter is called Play Ball. I recently heard a story about a softball game that went horribly wrong and at the same time all the important things went right. Let me explain what happened. The batter stepped up to home plate, squinting against the late afternoon sunlight. The pitcher threw the ball. The batter swung hard, and the bat made a loud smack. The ball soared over the center field fence. It was a home run. The batter started running as fast as she could, racing toward first base. She was thrilled that she had just hit a home run. When the batter got to first base, though, something went terribly wrong. As she rounded the base, something in her leg popped, and she crumbled to the ground in pain. She tried to get up and run to the next base, but she fell again. She wasn't able to make it on her own, and if she couldn't round all the bases, her team would lose the game. One of the rules in softball is that the runner needs to touch all the bases before touching home plate, or the home run doesn't count. Another rule is that a runner's teammates aren't allowed to help her get around the bases. If her teammates helped, the team would get an automatic out and they would lose the game. The player lay on the ground with tears of disappointment filling her eyes. She knew she'd never be able to make it around the bases on her own and she was in terrible pain. As she looked up though, something amazing happened. Two players from the other team were walking toward her. Without saying anything, the players gently grabbed hold of her arms and slung them around their shoulders. Everyone in the stand stood speechless as the opposing team members helped the injured player around the bases. A little bit earlier, I talked about how Jesus' kingdom, I talked about how Jesus' kingdom and the things he taught sometimes seem backward. Jesus said he had a whole new set of rules about how his friends will treat each other. I love this story of the softball players because the girls from the other team decided to lose the game to help someone who was hurt. By giving away their love, they lived out the kind of love Jesus talked about. They laid down their dreams and goals for someone else because they knew that we only truly win at the things that matter in life if we're willing to lose everything. Jesus talked about winning and losing with his friends. One time, some of his friends argued about who would get to sit in the chairs closest to Jesus in heaven. It seems silly now, but at the time, the disciples didn't understand Jesus' upside-down kingdom. In Jesus' time, whenever people had dinner at someone else's house, the seat everyone wanted was the seat closest to the host of the party. If you got that special seat, it was a way of telling everyone else at the party, I'm the best. Jesus told his friends that a different kind of person would be great in his kingdom. He said that people who wanted to be great, the winners, in his kingdom would, the, would be the people who helped other people instead of helping themselves. If you play sports, you probably wear a jersey that shows people which team you're on and which team you're not on. We're all part of different teams. Sometimes they're sports teams, but they can also look like groups of friends, the neighbors, the neighborhoods we live in, and sometimes even the churches we go to. It's a great feeling to belong to a group of people we love and who love us back. Followers of Jesus, though, are willing to forget about the jerseys and to love people outside of their own communities, because in Jesus' kingdom, everyone is part of the same team. Just like softball players, we get to spend our lives helping people who have been hurt make it around all the bases.